Oh no, oh no, oh no. And we are back. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lagan. This is Grounded, and today we're going over to the Haze because I want to do the Haze Mixer. And if you missed the last episode, we did the mixer that was in the yard close to the mosquitoes over there, right where I'm looking, right over there, there, that's it. Anyways, we did that one, no problem, but that one was super easy, so I figured we'd try to step it up a notch. We'll go into the haze and do this one. This one should be a lot harder. I'm guessing we're going to have stuff like the infected larva, infected weevil, infected mites, maybe even an infected ladybug, and all of them do explosions, so this should be much, much harder. Speaking of infected ladybugs, there's one right there. Let's not bother her, and maybe she won't bother us. Don't you do it. Leave me alone. And we'll just jump down here like this, and the mixer should be over here somewhere. Okay, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Here we are. There it is. I did a thing. Look what I did. Oh, God. There's infected weevil over here. Just let him blow up. There we go. Take that. To your set. Wait, there's another one. All right, let's blow him up. And another one. Let him blow up. All right, this is out of control already. We haven't even begun yet. But look, I did a thing. We got a mush. We got, we got spike traps kind of staggered. We got a mushroom wall, which is pretty strong. I've got the pebble turret set up, and I got double mushroom wall. So, come back here, and we would start that, and then it's go time, right? But check this out first. Got this little platform here. Put all my pebbles in storage. So, you can actually put pebbles in a storage container, and if it's close to the turret, it'll, it'll count them. You don't have to have them in your inventory. So, you can see at the bottom right-hand corner, it says I have 113 shots. And we're lined up pretty good. I should be able to cover most of this with no problem well i don't know how much damage this does this is literally my first time using it so we'll just see what happens also brought my wrench for repairs so in between like waves i could run out there and repair some of the spike traps and any wall that might get damaged all right so before we start the mixer i did find out that you cannot redo them so once you've done them that's it they're done so i'm hoping they add more as they update the backyard there's still a whole section that they need to do of the backyard so they'll probably get a couple more of these to do later on but for now initiate mix oh wait 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 i wanted to check something out first we're inside of the encyclopedia i don't know what this thing's called we're inside of our information tab with the bugs where is the infected larva at there it is fresh and slashing is its weakness well i don't have anything fresh i guess slashing would be a sword uh, i do have a sword but it's spicy but i also in preparation decided to bring some fresh arrows. So that could work against the larva if I need to hop out of the pebble turret for whatever reason and just start pelting them with this. That could work. And I also brought some of the repair glue, which I could use to repair my armor. It's about half damage, so we'll go ahead and top it off. I just say that repair glue is so much better than the way you used to have to repair your armor. So once you get it past a level five, you have to you have to start using repair glue. And repair glue is super easy to make. Anything before level five, you have to use like specific animal parts, which can be kind of annoying. Um, so that is definitely an improvement. All right, let's start her up. And then let's quickly get inside of our turret. And let's just wait and see what happens. Oh boy. They're going, they're smarter than I thought they were. They're going right through them. Oh, this is working. Okay, this is working. Uh, hopefully I have enough rocks. I didn't, I don't, maybe I don't have enough rocks. That's the only problem. We'll get down and do some bashing if we need to. That worked really well. Oh, I like this setup. I am thinking I'll tear down all of these uh, structures around the mixers when I'm done, because if we upset a faction of bugs, they're gonna come to our base and attack it, but they'll come to the nearest base. And this would be considered a base by the bugs. So I'm gonna fall all the way in my yard and oh this is working good there's I'm all the way in my yard they're attacking this i'm not gonna get over here in time plus i don't even care uh oh uh oh Ooh, lucky so i don't even care if they're attacking this honestly so i'd rather get the resources back oh these little guys are shooting something's happening oh yeah they got range attack just like me I don't even know if I'm hitting them. Stop it. Stop. You gotta aim a little lower. 
than what the target is. Is that all of them? Yeah, okay. Right, they probably did some good damage to that wall over there, but no worries. We're about 33% uh, done. Oh, they broke one of the spikes. Come over here and fix this wall really quick. And then we should probably get back up there. Yeah, those little mites, they suck, huh? They were doing damage. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I'm down to 74 rocks. It's about, oh no, oh no. Ooh, not good. Thank God we just repaired that wall. Yeah, pretty much all my spike traps on the left side are gone now. But we are almost halfway done. And because I have my repair tool basically in my hand, it's showing me a red glow around everything that needs to be repaired. So as you can see, some of these spike traps are on the verge of breaking. Got a nice little break here. I should have gone down and repaired some, but now I'm afraid to. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. This is against my better judgment. Repair. Okay, get back inside. Get back inside. Repair this one. I hear bugs coming. I hear bugs coming. Oh, they're weevils. Exploding. Definitely want to get that ladybug because the ladybug's got grenades. You got to get her out of the equation. I love this pebble turtle. Oh, God. The wall held up. I don't think the wall's broke. We still have a second layer of wall anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. Kind of worried about the one that the turret is sitting on, though. If this one breaks, I do have the turret on a platform that's connected to the back wall, so I don't think the turret will fall. But yeah, I'm loving this pebble turret. It's really good. This will work great back at the base for our base defenses. Oh, that's right. I should have used my guard dog. Uh, my new guard dog perk gives us more attack. Gives us more attack uh, damage. Yeah, mushroom walls are holding up good. I mean, I'm surprised they haven't broke yet. I mean, this one's basically almost broken. Repaired. 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 Another ladybug coming. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Stop it, ladybug. Got her. Excellent, man. This is incredibly fun. I love this. Got the mite. Yo, that was great. Did we get another, um, I don't think we got phase two of our, um, of our mutation. Yeah, I was trying to say, I was a little distracted, but I was trying to say that mutation, guard dog would have been very helpful during this because it gives us more attack damage. That's what I was trying to say. Let's just grab all of the things, why not? We earned them, I could use it. That was probably one of the harder ones you're gonna have to do because I don't think anywhere else on the map you're gonna have to deal with exploding insects. And everything that came at us had explosive capabilities, so that was pretty good. Uh, we, we have one spike trap left. I'll recycle it for parts. And I guess I should probably tear all of this down and get all this stuff back. But before we do that, how'd we make out? Last time we got 1,500. 2,000. No, last time we got 2,000 also, so that's right. So apparently it's only going to give you 2,000. It doesn't matter the difficulty level, but hey, that's 4,000 free raw science between last episode and this one all right pebble turret good job let me recycle this get all the stuff back for it all right and that's pretty much everything down and i'm just gonna leave the stuff that i can't carry because my inventory is pretty full but i wanted to make sure i got all the mushroom bricks because those take a while to bake up and we can just reuse all these ones we just picked back up on our next build our next defense while we're over in this section of the yard though the trash pile is pretty close and someone was telling me you guys were telling me that the fat gnat is the harmless one I need to get. Also over here, I can't believe it, but I've never, I have not scanned what I'm assuming is a red soldier ant. Because I have the black soldier ant and right next to it's empty. It's got to be the red soldier ant. So I need to scan one of those and that just leaves the brood mother. I'm not going to scan her today because I actually want to fight her again. Now that I'm not completely immune to venom, I imagine that's going to be a lot harder of a fight so i wouldn't do another boss fight with her the way i understand it is i have resistance to poison if i have that um mutation activated but i don't understand exactly how it works so i have uh, phase three which should be 75 percent resistance to poison plus your armor has something called resistance on it as you level it up as well so i don't really know 
Does that mean I'm 75% less likely to be poisoned? Or I'm going to get poisoned every time, but it does 75% less drain? Don't really know. If you guys want to help answer that down in the comments, that'd be helpful. Thanks. But the point being, I think it'll be a much harder boss fight. So we're going to do the Broodmother again uh, in an upcoming episode. But we still have three more of these uh, mixers to do. I think the next one we'll do is over there at the hedge. Then we've got the one in the sandbox and one over there by the charcoal. I also found out that the canteen, as wonderful as it seems, being able to drink water out of any source that you want to, watch what happens when I scoop it. Watch the durability of my uh, canteen. Took just a little bit off. So this thing will break. I don't know what the repair's like. Could be super simple to repair and won't be a big deal. But yeah, the other one doesn't have durability that I remember. So that's kind of a bummer, but I st I'm still going to use it. Maybe it's not as great as I thought it was, though, but still pretty great. Okay, got my gas mask on. We're about to enter the rotten trash part of the yard. I've got to find one of these gnats that are over here to scan him. Here, let's chop this up, get rid of some of the gas around here. Yeah, all right. Let's see. I think it's this way, and we can hop up on the trash lid. Then we got to go through the trash pile. All the way up to the top, if I'm not mistaken, is where I remember seeing some gnats at. Oh, check it out, guys. I think those are the gnats we're looking for. It is. Meaty gnat. They're not called fat gnats. My bad. Meaty gnats. Got him. Oh, there's a mint box back here. I never saw that. Get some mints while we're here. You know, eventually I should make that mint mace. I really should. I really, really should. But what sucks about this game is that, like, now there are so many creatures that have different weaknesses that you have to carry around 15 different weapons and they haven't really increased the backpack space. What I suggest they do, and this seems like a good idea to me, is that they should have a row, a row underneath your inventory that is will only slot weapons. All right, it's just one row. That'll be six, uh, nine, ten, ten slots for weapons, only weapons. And then you have all this inventory space in these three rows for other things. That's that's the solution, in my opinion. That's what they should do. Why haven't they done it yet? I don't know. But it's the main reason that I haven't been making all of the weapons and all the different... Because it would be ideal to have a sword that does spicy, a sword that does um, minty or fresh, and uh, one that does salty. And it would be ideal to do that to all of your weapons, right? One for slashing, one for bashing, one for whatever, you know? But uh, we just don't have the slots for all that. So I'm hoping there's some improvements along the line. I did want to point out that uh, I was reading the comments and someone said that I missed a super chip, but I didn't. As you can see, there is four out of four collected, but I am missing a uh, just a regular burgle chip. Uh, it must be up in the hedge because the comment also said it's in the hedge. So that's got to be the one the person was talking about. So I got to go to the hedge at some point and find that. I think they're called auxiliary chips now and then there's super chips. Super chips and auxiliary chips. I don't think there's burgle chips anymore, but whatever. We'll just call them burgle chips. Gold burgle chips, regular burgle chips, just for old time's sake. I did not expect the infected larva to weave in and out of those spike traps that I had set up. That was actually a surprise. So the next defense, we learned something. I'll just put them side by side by side, have no gaps at all. Then they can't weave around or whatever the next animal will be, bug will be that we face. We'll have a harder time getting to the wall that's blocking the mixer. I'm gonna go over here because there's bees over here and I want to see if I can get some pollen. Pollen is very difficult. I mentioned it on my last video. Very difficult to collect. I've got like eight pollen. It used to be when the game first came out. I mean, pollen was everywhere, but now you gotta get bees to do their pollen attack and it'll fall off the bee. Or you could check like flowers for pollen. That would require me like getting on top of flowers and stuff. I think there's a bunch of flowers by the pond that might have pollen in them, but we'll, we'll check a couple of different bees up here first. If we got any pollen legs up here. All right, no pollen on these guys. It's very obvious that they have basically their back legs are yellow. So we'll just head on top of the table and hopefully someone up there has got some pollen on them that we can get off. But yeah, they only usually drop like one or two, which also sucks. You take all this time to find a specific bee. They finally drop some pollen, but it's just a couple. And I've got two bees aggroed on me. Oh, they're chill. I think they're chill now. No pollen on that guy either. There is a change up here to the picnic table. Um, the beehive's no longer up here. It's actually in the tree. 
the big oak tree. But now there's a honey pot, though. And there's no way to get into it. I don't believe. I've looked around. I can't find a way in there. And honey's not a thing in the game yet. We've got all these bees. You'd think we'd have to do something with honey at some point. Not a single one of these bees has pollen on it. Are you kidding me? I came over here and got rid of all the mushrooms because of the amount of ants and weevils that were over here were actually making the frames go terrible when I came in this section. So it should be calmed down a little bit over here, but that's what I'm looking for, soldier ant. Boom, gotcha. Okay, cool. Red soldier ant. It's still a little framey right there too. I might have to kill some of these ants. We'll be doing a video in the future where I go into the red ant hill with some super gas arrows, just kill a ton of them, really get them aggroed, and hopefully they'll come raid our base. I wanna do a base raid on my actual base at home and see how we hold up. Ah! Oh God, wolf spider. I hate it. I hate it. It's hot on my trail, I think. Is it? Yeah, no. Yes, no, no. Ha ha, evaded him. Oh God, I hate when that happens at nighttime and it's foggy like this. It's so scary. It's like a horror game. I'm not kidding. Where am I at? Ta-da, we made it home. Successful mixer. And we got the bestiary 99% done. We just got to get the brood mother. But I want to show you one more thing before I go today. Kind of a quicker video, but check this out. You can put sap collectors on your turrets. It is not intended. I'm sure this will get fixed. But I showed you guys my sap collector. Um, all over there by the oak tree roots. This is where you're supposed to attach them. Um, but I guess if you don't, it, it's really good for me because I live next to the oak tree. I can just go over there and get all my sap I've collected. But if you don't, this I think will work. Just fill it in and I guess it'll fill up with sap. I, I guess if it attaches to it, it'll fill up with sap. So that's something that I learned in the comment section as well. Kind of funny, definitely not intended. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on it. And as always, it's been your boy Lagging24. And I will see you uh, next time.